dog's belly eats everything. <laughs> I'm Drake McElroy, professional motorcycle dude, Red Bull X Fighters judge, and all around curious guy. With the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour, I get to go, you guessed it, all around the world. Would you pass up an opportunity to see the world on somebody else's dime? Barcelona, Spain, capital of the autonomous province of Catalonia. This proud region still stands by their local language and Catalonian heritage. Sitting on the Mediterranean coast, about 300 miles from the Spanish capital of Madrid, the seaside city is flourishing with art and culture. Barcelona is an artistic and vibrant city in both its people and its skyline. It is considered one of the top five most popular European cities and an equally positioned economy. With my wife Hillary and I having just arrived, it was time for food and no delay. Definitely not souvenir shopping. What if they have any French magnets that taste like tapas? <laughs> At first glance, there appears to be nothing more than snow globes and toy flamenco dancers available for purchase. However, inquire with the hostess and she may surprise you. Would you like to look inside? We have like more souvenirs. Yes, please. Yes? Okay. Like this. this elevator, leaving the Dontel, the hidden restaurant that is a must try for any Catalonian bound cuisine hound. Classy and modern establishment with a tasty menu prepared by chef Norberto Rodriguez. Okay, this is the aperitif. Is it aperitif? Cream potatoes with leeks. Smoked oil. It's like Batman's little slice of the West Village stashed away underground. <laughs> Both fish and swine were fantastic. This is the baby platter. We have some baby pig. We have baby corn. Some little baby carrots. It's gonna be good. I've had some baby pig experience before. For me? You took it. This is really good. It's like a daiquiri with all good stuff. Yeah, the splash is sorbet. Then getting permission to prepare my wife's dessert, we called it a night and prepared for our first full day in Barcelona. Up early and out on the colorful streets, we headed down to the famous Las Ramblas and the La Boqueria Market. Dating back to 1217, the market offers fresh produce, game, Spanish hams, and more. There's some tasty looking treats and the not so tasty looking treats. Even some that just seem to look at you. Hey, how's your day? There's food, and then there's food with faces. We worked up an appetite and stopped at the bar Pinocchio, a small tapas bar inside the market serving fresh tapas from ingredients off the neighboring stalls. A double thing. Dog's belly eats everything. With a full belly, time to move on. The good part about tapas is there's plenty to go around and we took, you know, we took the time to hook a brother up. The Spanish love their bikes and this bike was something of a novelty. The all-electric Supermoto Volt. When you're not using fuel, you get a little grocery box. <laughs> Normally they do, but bikes are scooters and now in this case we're looking for another different style. Yeah, it's kind of a street style looking, you know, yeah, tall arms, slim tails and back. No clutch, no gears, just the bikes. Nice. Designed to sit still and ride like a supermoto, I was lucky enough to test ride it. It ought to be a beast with a massive battery in it. 
not gonna lie, the last time I was actually on a bike, I wasn't driving it because we were in Sao Paulo. I'm pretty fired up to take the wheel. <laughs> or the grips, or whatever you can say. Clear grips. Dude, you can't have an electric bike without clear grips. That's not right, you know? The two designers must have spotted my throttle hand twitching from a mile away and had previously detuned the motorcycle to an unfun speed. Map 2 must be the fast button. We don't get the fast button. I, think, I don't think they trust us because I don't think we got a full charge either. After learning how to start slash launch slash switch slash whatever you do to get this thing going, the engine hummed a silent roar and the road was mine. Not really what I'd hoped for, but hey, you know, I got going fast enough to make my eyes water. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a decent amount of electric bikes to play with in the future. Not bad. Until, you know, we find out that battery waste is going to be 30 times worse than any petroleum stuff, but I won't tell anybody now. <laughs> That's all. If one thing will crack your eyes open, it's MotoGP. It was the 20th anniversary of the MotoGP in Catalonia. The MotoGP paddock was a field of super fans and all-around craziness. It was qualifying day, riders vying for their starting spot in tomorrow's final lineup. MotoGP is an intricate sport with a die-hard following, and no one knows it better than British TV commentators Toby Moody and Julian Ryder. Well, I started commentating Grand Prix in the beginning of 96, and I thought Dennis was really great in Chichi and John, and I thought he was just spot on. We've got different skills in the commentary box, that's, I think, the key. The over. There are two Repsol Hondas entered, they're first and second at the moment. Casey Steiner currently is the man on pole position. Could this be pole number four? But it's still Casey Steiner who leads by 0.65 of a second ahead of Davizioso. That's good. My lap is now underway. Out of the third, it's the exception for Valentino Rossi, but he's 0.4 off the Second row is Spies, Davizioso. Following the 18 race season around the world, these two are responsible for embaying everything on track and in the paddock for the European race fans. The, the last split from Simoncelli on his pole position lap, a dramatic finale we have just seen to the end of MotoGP. Tomorrow was race day. It was time to relax with an evening in the city. We began at Vaso de Oro, a tapas restaurant. Does it seem like we eat a lot of tapas? Because it did to me. But if there's anything you can find in Barcelona, it's tapas. Tapas, tapas, tapas. <laughs> Making our way through the various fish, meats, and dishes of other earthly origin. Spanish are the pioneers of the appetizer. <laughs> With another good meal down, we moved on to the local haunt of music-loving Catalonians, El Monasterio. Just like Toucan Sam, follow your nose, down to the sweet smell of beer sweat and rock and roll. Once down on the ground floor, the dark club with its low ceiling and stone walls seemed a fitting scene for the fur-clad rock and roller on stage. And what else would you expect to find at the bottom of the stone stairwell? Taken in the performance, but feeling my long day catching up with me, with every sip of beer starting to cling to my heavy eyelids, I knew it was time to turn in. Tomorrow was race day.